A lonely orphan child faces an uncertain future in the smoky remains of a war-torn Korea. Years later, he changes the world. This is the story of the Han Schneider Foundation. My name is Sam or Sangman Han. I'm the founder of Han Schneider International Children's Foundation. Founded by the late Sam Han, his son Arthur has taken over the vision. He shares this amazing story. Sam Han, my father, who is the original founder, he was orphaned during the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950. They were living in a farming village, and their village was the area where it was just mayhem, chaotic. Gunfire, you hear the bomb explosion, so everyone in the village is just scrambling looking for shelter and protection. Him, him, his mom, his sister were all running together. He turned back around and his mom and sister were gone. He, he was six years old. One second you have your mom right there by your side and the next second you just see thousands of people just running in, in chaos. So he was homeless, left on the streets. Um, he, he told me he was going several days in search for his mom and his sister, and he, they were just nowhere to be found. And luckily there were wonderful, good-hearted people out there at that time that saw this little boy in need and, you know, offered their home to bring him in and, and care for him. And that's how he was able to get by several years. He did persevere and he made his way over to Seoul at the age of 10. He walked into the uh, Seoul National University Hospital. They have this commotion going on and an American gentleman or American professor happens to walk by and overhear this confrontation going on and he intervenes and brings in a translator and says, hey, you know, why is this little boy so frantic and what's all this commotion going about? This American professor, Dr. Schneider, basically said, don't worry about anything else. We're gonna do everything to locate your family and we will find them, but until then, you're gonna live in my home. I'll take care of you. Don't worry about working. I'll send you off to school and eventually we'll find your family. So Dr. Schneider took my father under his wing and cared for him and, and loved him as if it was his own son. He came over to the United States at the age of 13. Really just had a true opportunity to live what everyone calls the American dream. My father took full advantage of the opportunity that he was provided here in the States. Uh, he went on to Fresno State University, then did his graduate work at Stanford. My father thrived, had many businesses uh, growing up as an entrepreneur, had successful businesses that he started up, created, sold off, started another company, created and sold off, and that, that's what he was good at. But in 2002, he was diagnosed with terminal bone marrow cancer, and that was probably the second biggest changing point or turning point in his life. And he had a calling from God and he realized that this was the message that God was sending him. That, you know, with this diagnosis, you're going to help change the world and you're going to do some things differently. He was diagnosed with stage four severe, went through extensive chemotherapy for the next three years. He went through an extensive stem cell transplant, so his health condition was pretty bad. Uh, in 2005, he was finally in remission, um, which was a true blessing, and he decided to take a fact-finding mission and head over to North Korea. As soon as he got back, he was determined. He goes, you know what, the first place that we're going to work and initiate a program is, is going to be North Korea. In 2007, he launched the foundation and started a food shipment program. I am dedicating the foundation to my beloved father, Dr. Arthur Schneider, who brought me and moved me to be what I am today. And i like to pay back to those world's most destitute orphans when I was once. I would like very much for you to join our foundation to save the lives of suffering children. 
In just a short time, the Hans Schneider Foundation continued to evolve and to deliver food and aid to more and more children all over the world. CBS 2's Rachel Kim tells us how he's fulfilling his mission. My life's a full of miracles. 66-year-old Sam Hahn simply has to look at his laptop to be reminded of his life's mission now. Take care and you know, save and care of the children. Hong doesn't know these little orphans in North Korea, but he knows their plight. In 1950, Han was just six years old when he was separated from his sister and parents during the outbreak of the Korean War. Suddenly, he was an orphan. Unfortunately, in 2012, June of 2012, a little over a year ago, um, my father finally lost his battle with cancer. He always told me it's the children that kept him alive because he knew that these children were depending on him and the organization of Hans Schneider to provide them hope. And that's what fueled his fire. Inception of a foundation and uh, planning and uh, uh, taking actions for the children have given me most gratitude the in my, the, uh, my uh, my feeling and emotions. And uh, I think this is why I am still sur you know, surviving. He sat me down uh, two different times, and I, very distinctly, and he asked, he goes, you know, I, I don't want to have to talk about this with you, but you know I don't have much time left, and you know how important this foundation is to me and that it still continue to serve its purpose. Uh, so when that time comes, uh, would you be happy to step into my shoes and, and fulfill, fulfill my role? Well, that's gonna be At his side was his most this. ardent supporter, know, his son. I think gray area. Yeah, I would be more than happy to, to take over operations and help out in whichever way I can. I know it's my dad's legacy. It's been almost about a little over one year since I decided to embark on this journey and it's been the most fulfilling and most rewarding journey that I could ever be, be been on and the best decision that I could ever possibly made. I've made some of my best and newest friends because of the work and the foundation that I decided to continue for my father. The mission of Hans Schneider International Children's Foundation is to provide life-saving essentials to the world's most destitute children. Through faith, love, and compassion, the Hans Schneider International Children's Foundation offers hope to the hungry and forgotten children of the world by providing life-saving essentials.